Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, last episode, we uh, I got the whole set place set up with power, and uh, as you can see, things are quiet. Uh, too quiet, in fact. Uh, we're having a bit of an issue with the creosote situation. I took those two blasts two coke ovens off and uh, that was actually supplying just enough creosote to keep the system alive now we're out of creosote but that's good because that means I get to do something fun I'm gonna expand the bamboo farm again I have 160 plants here I have another 80 ready to go and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of conveyors I got some stone too and I'm gonna expand it that way a bit I think you know now that I realize now I'm down here I realize that it might be a little tight so Maybe we'll build it over here then. And then what I want to do is I want to... No, that's actually what I was making the bricks for. I'm going to make five, five more coke ovens because I already have one here. And then I'm going to get another six going. All these conveyors here, they're going to get upgraded to aluminum. And that's just coming from the dryers. All these are still, still going to stay, stay with steel. And then I'll have another set of dryers going through for this bamboo. Now I have... Yeah, both these farms are actually running through eight dryers. So I think on this farm, I only, I'm only going to need four dryers. I'm going to use the same setup where I'm using this, the steel furnace with the coke going in and the ash coming out and all that stuff. Uh, the coke supply hasn't been too bad. It's really the creosote that's a bit of a situation right now. Uh, I was trying to make some more steel and realized things weren't actually working out there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what the developer had suggested. And I have it. There it is. Uh, I am going to use a steel separator in the iron steel setup here. Uh, basically, what's going on, uh, I'm taking the impure iron ore dust, smelting it into iron ingots, running it through a macerator to create the iron dust to go into the alloy smelter. Now, you can actually run this through a separator and it'll get you sulfur. Now, at the, at the, currently, I don't know what I need sulfur for. Uh, we'll need it for batteries down the road, but it's always good to have something like that on hand in case you actually need it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll need it eventually, uh, but what that does is it actually gets to one step out of the process. Instead of having a furnace or smelter and then a macerator, I'm just going with a separator. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this out because this is actually not doing anything right now. I'm going to take that out, and all I have to do is just put the separator in there. And that should continue things rolling on. Uh, the only thing I will have to do is add another robot, robotic arm to take the sulfur out. Okay, let's see here. I'll put that side. Okay. And then... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I need to take this out and just put another conveyor in. Alright, I should have conveyors. Yes, I do. And then I'll show you what a ch little change I made on this line here. Oh, so much of the peace and quiet. Anyway, so this will all be going now. Uh, what I've done is I'm hoping this is going to work. I put another sep uh, conveyor splitter here. So that way I can actually have some components for myself and keep the uh, reinforced concrete going. So anyways, that is done. Next is to get the plants in place. I really do gotta clean this place up. Got all this copper junk laying around. All right, so I wanna sort of keep it in line. So let's uh, get an idea of where it's gonna go here. I'm gonna need a few blocks of space, I, I believe. It can be an eight by 10 too. Uh, I still gotta make the arms too. Uh, I haven't thought about this. Give me a second, let me figure out a layout and we'll continue on. Okay, so that's what I got. So there should be enough room. Uh, I'm gonna have the conveyors coming up from that one side here, coming down to this side here where the dryers are gonna be. So now we gotta get the bamboo farms in. And uh, believe me, it takes a long time to make 80 of these things. So we're gonna do like so. And uh, something also, someone also pointed out too, you can. Uh, have them grow in different directions, but I'm not going to do that. Not this time, anyways. But, uh, yeah, let me get these placed in, and uh, I shall return. Okay, there we go. Another 80 bamboo farms. Now, do I have enough steel junctions? No, I do not. Not on me, anyways. 
I do have a whole bunch of stuff usually made up. Uh, in this case, no. So I might have to come up with that because I don't actually have any uh, parts unless. And yeah, I uh, found out there is a run. You hold control. It allows you to run. Now, is this actually working? I don't know. Uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Korea so he he he. Uh, yeah. Well, I got some steel on me. Uh, there's nothing in there. I'm not going to come up with some steel conveyors. Uh, let me see what I can find. Okay, I'm only able to make eight. But what I can do, actually I have some in here, is I was going to switch all the other ones go on over to aluminum. So we can go ahead and do that. And we'll make as many as I can. I'm going to need uh, more components. So let me get all this stuff ready and I'll be right back. Okay, everything's crafting up right now. So we might as well start pulling everything out. Uh, I don't really doesn't really matter now if uh, nothing's getting running because nothing's running so I'm able to take it out now and yeah so it's gonna take me a minute to get all these things out give me some extras too and this is actually what I need so uh, yeah let me switch this back over and I'll return okay I am all got all straightened out uh, definitely moving a little bit a little bit faster I had some issues with uh, the boilers running dry uh, because I didn't hook those other ones back up to the ash recycler. But anyways, I am going ahead. I am currently making the multi-tool robots right now. These are the filtering robots. It'll just take a minute. And I guess while we're doing that, we'll start getting our conveyors set up. So we're going to go ahead and use a steel on these ones here. And what I do is I place them one block above so they don't actually take out the ash wall bamboo plant. So we'll go over here and... Do the same thing on this side, but we'll have it mirrored like so. And I do this just to make sure the conveyors don't get uh, mixed up, for instance. So how are we going to do this? I'm trying to think how I'm going to get the feed over. Maybe we'll do it differently this time. Maybe we'll go like so, and then uh, place a block on top. Then another conveyor on top of that. So, get that out, and then, uh, so this one will go through like that, this one will go up and over, and then I'll have the same on the other side, or, yeah, I will. So then over here it's going to be the same thing, you have know, steel going there, and then we'll just place another one on top, because I'm going to take it out anyways. So then what's going to happen is this one goes into here, which goes that way. This one's going to go up and into here, which goes that way. And then on the other, other side, these ones are going to actually be feeding right into the, the what you call it, the blah, 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 name will come to me here, uh, furnaces, yes. Uh, I also forgot too, i got to make sure I get power to these things. So I do have to have a... Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, multi tools gotta go on the top. So then that means it's gonna be going here, 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 and here. And uh, it's almost like I planned that out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we all know it's all chance with me. Oh, that's uh, that's the wrong robot. That's the robot I want. But anyways, uh, let me get the conveyors straightened out, and I shall be back. Okay, so I got this set up. So as you can see, these ones here are feeding into these conveyors, which are going up to the front. Uh, everything should be connected. It's a good thing I checked, because apparently it's not. Oh, oh, that's right, yeah, they, these ones don't connect. This comes around the bottom. Uh, that one there goes up, comes over, and then goes over across. And then I have them all, I got the two in the back coming out in their own conveyor. These two here come out in their own conveyor, which merge into one conveyor, which go into the dryer. And then hopefully, as long as the junctions aren't doing with more than two item, two or three inputs, outputs, the light shouldn't be terrible. Uh, yeah, so the next thing to do is get some furnaces and some wires, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I have everything I need, or at least I hope I do. 
All right, so uh, I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to take these three blocks out. I uh, will have to do a little bit of excavation underground just to make room for the conveyors and all that stuff. I'll probably should actually have enough room close to it. Let's see what we can do here. I've already hollowed out some of it already because I anticipated having to come down here. Uh, not only for the dryers, uh, but for the coke ovens as well. Because we've got to get our creosote line connected as well. Okay, so I am here, so I have enough room. So let's start with getting our conveyors in. Uh, we're going to have the fuel in the back. So we're going to have one there. I'm going to pop out of the hole here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so the other one's got to go over here. Okay, so I've already figured out where I'm going to have it go in. There's a aluminum junction I'm going to put it, have it feeding into, and it should be okay. Ah, I see, I see which way I'm going here. You know, this is aluminum. I can't wait to see what... Is there actually higher tier tools? There is. Oh, wow. I can't even imagine how fast, like, the neutronium one is. Uh, it be some time before I get there, I have a feeling. Right, anyway, so that is that. So basically, uh, that junction right there is what I'm aiming for. Uh, I do realize I'll have to put, put an aluminum conveyor down to transfer from the steel to that. But that is not a problem, so we can do that. Uh, and we'll go down two just because. One and two. And we can get our junction back because we're going to need it. Do the same thing here. One and two. Take that one out, and then this one's going to... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's going out on yellow. It's going in on blue. This one's going to be going out on white. And I know that if... Uh, not out on white, out on blue. Out on blue, there we go. And that comes in on white. I know my colors. Trust me, I do. I just may not remember the names for them. All right, so that's going to work like that. Uh, we're going to have green going out to that one there. Oh wait, that's right, I'm feeding off the fuel line. So I gotta come off of there. That right, should be fine. Get a few more blocks down here, so I got a place to actually stand. That isn't uneven and hastily dug by myself. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, could probably place it there, like that. I need to that block here. I'll place another conveyor on top. Alright, so you are going out on green. You are going out on green. Or you would if you were in the right spot. Okay, let's try this again. Take that out. Put you there. Out on green. Aha, it works. Okay, and that's going to be in on red, out on yellow, and then we just go ahead and throw one of these there, have that on out on yellow as well. And now we have our furnaces fueled once we place one. So now it's a matter of getting the ash back to the electrolyzer. Now where do I have the ash going? Would have made more sense to connect over there. I think I might have to go for a little diggy dig, I think. Let's go investigate, shall we? Believe it or not, this is actually easier than trying to get out of the hole. Uh, but we gotta dig this way anyways. Uh, let's see. Where is the ash going? Where is the ash? Yeah, let's see here. Uh, you are... I think that's the ash line. Yeah, that's a creosote. So the ash is coming out into here. Yeah, okay. So that means, let's go this way. I go connect right into here, and we should be good. So it's going to take me a minute to dig there. I'll be right back. Okay, I broke one through. Uh, unfortunately, I have the ash line, the same line level as this. So 
that means I'm going to have to do things a little differently. I'm going to have to actually step down, but it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Let me get a little bit more room here so I can actually get through. Now, I do have to stay in line with this. So I'm going to actually place some blocks up here. Blocks, not pipes. Roughly where it's going to need to be. And... I guess we go right to there. All right, so now we go ahead and place another conveyor there, another one there, and then we're gonna do the same thing and place one there. And I like how it actually grid snaps when you place it on the ground. If there's a ground to place it on, that's fine because I have blocks on me at all times. Okay, so you are gonna be pulling in red. No not do that not yet anyways okay and you're gonna be going out on white and it's gonna be out on pink and then you are out on white and then you're gonna be going to here hmm actually what I should be doing is place them down one more Place it right here instead. Oh, not there. I took the block out. Silly me. Yeah, right there. So now, because we're gonna have to go down anyway, so at least we're going going down in the first place. So that goes out there, and you gotta dig a little bit of a trench. I don't think it really matters. I think the conveyors can go to the ground, but you know, just for the sake of it. Okay, and you go out on uh, pink. Okay, and then from here, uh, it's going to go in line with this block, so there. Okay, you can go out on pink. Let me go over here, and oh, that should be it right there. Take that one out. Okay, you are out on red. Uh, no, out on blue. You are going to be in on white. And then we'll place one more here. And look at that, it's my last one too. Okay. You go out on red. Thank you. Make sure that's all going the right way. Yes, it is. And then you're going to be going on red as well. Make sure you're going up. You're pulling in, going out. Alright. That should be it. Now i got to get back up there somehow. Can I sneak in through here? I can. Look at that sure sure footed like a mountain goat. Okay, now I gotta go all the way over here because I uh <laughs> filled in my hole. Actually did yeah I did. Uh, okay, I gotta find my way out. I'll be right back. Okay. So now we go ahead and start putting stuff in. And uh Yeah, I'm, uh, I swear to god I'm doing this wrong. I have eight furnaces for two farms. I should actually have four furnaces, I think. Oh, we're going to find out. Right now, two furnaces is better than no furnaces. Okay, so now i got to make sure that I have the inputs and outputs going right. Okay, like so, and no, not there. All right. And so are you, you are filling up with fuel, you are filling up with fuel, okay, you're going to fill up first. Uh, take those off, grab the dryers, and yeah, one there, and like so. Now we just go throw some conveyors on top of here, like so, actually I could probably do straight into conveyor junctions probably. We'll probably, well, let's actually do that. Because I know they're not going to interfere with the steel. Because they don't interact. Okay, and we do like that. Uh, that's going in. Uh, I don't know why you're going down. Yeah, as far as I know, these shouldn't interact. Anyway, okay, and then uh, from here, I guess I'll just send this one right over to the other side there. 
And then what I was going to do is I was actually going to put the Coke ovens on this side here where I'm standing. I was originally going to try to keep them in a big line, but yeah, that might not be a smart idea. Mind you, not, nothing I ever do is ever smart. Okay, so... Coke's coming up this side. Oh, that's another conveyor line. I gotta run. Fun. Alright, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Alright, so, let's see. Input and output. Uh, hmm. Let's put the input on this side. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it that way. I wasn't sure if I wanted to have them all sort of feeding off the same line, like come out one and then go and feed in the other progressively, or if I wanted to split it up in three like I did on that one, I think I'll do it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's getting dark, let me do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so there are the coke ovens. I got the pipes already semi-hooked up. Uh, yeah, that's right, because that's supplying the tank, and then from the tank to the, the, the furnaces, we used uh, stainless, or uh, steel pipes. Alright, so now it's just a matter of getting this hooked up, so it's going to be the same as before. I'm going to do like that. Uh, there, 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 oop, there, and there. Okay, you're going to be... Uh, you're going to be going the other way, so I want... Yeah, you out on green, you're going to be in on pink, and then out on yellow, and then you are going to be out on pink, uh, out on yellow, red, and blue. Uh, you are going to be going in, you are going to be out on blue, and same with the other side. Okay, so that is that side, so that's a supply, and now for the return. Now this one, I have to, like I said, I actually have to try to connect this to the main line down below and you're going to be out on white uh, out on red uh, yeah we'll come off the center so yeah just like so and this one will be out on white and then this one is going to be going down so now so I know where to go I take out this block and hope I actually have a space to crawl underneath so let us see what we have I don't know what I have for space down here. I can always make more if I need to. So we're coming off of here. And I need to get to those shelves over there. Now originally I was going to try to pipe right into uh, probably this conveyor here. Guess it doesn't really matter. There isn't too much of a load on them, so yeah, we'll try to maybe hook up closer if we can. Let me dig this out, see what we can come up with. You know, I spend so much time down here, I might actually have to start decorating it. Get some nice floors and walls in here and some lights and all the fancy stuff. Okay, so yeah, we're coming off of this one. So I need to place the block there. Another conveyor. You are going to be come, going out on white, like so. Now it's just a matter of getting this connected. And I think I could probably get away with doing something as, as lazy as this. Okay. So, out on pink, out on pink. And then from here. See, I want to avoid going to that one because you got, I got so many going in at the same time. Uh, let's actually let's borrow this junction here. I think this should work. All right, and then we place one more, and that should be it. Is that in line? I think so. No, it's not. Fine, we'll do it that way. Okay, and pink. Uh, out on, oh, no, you're out on green. 
No, you're not. You're out on ye yellow. Yeah, that's right. Out on yellow, you're going to be in on red. Out on pink, you're going to be in on green. Just have to make sure everything's going right. And that should be it. Now the question is, are they even doing anything? Uh, probably not. Probably want to do but doing as much as me, and that's just getting stuck. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see if we get up there. Okay, we can. Oh yeah, I guess they won't be doing anything if there's no power. <laughs> but they should have full fuel. Okay, that one's good. And uh, that one does not. Okay, troubleshooting time, and we'll take the. Yeah, we'll take the shortcut. Shortcut is blocked. Come on, let me in there. Elevator down. Thank you. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's see. In on pink, out on blue. In on white. Oh, yeah. Do I really have to do out on yellow for this to work? Oh, apparently so. Okay, and then you are going to be going in on red. We'll do that just to be on. Oh, I didn't even hook this one up. Alright, that's fine. In on red and then out on white. So that's the ash set up. Okay, you're getting fuel, you're getting fuel, you're getting your ash taken care of. Oh, I forgot about the shortcut here. Alright, let me get everything wired up and we'll see how she runs. Okay, I'm just about ready to connect the power now. Uh, sort of had to fish the wire through to get to uh, connect, but uh, that should be it. I also got the crew of salt line supply, supplied over there, so it should be good. Now it's just a matter of watching this go through and hopefully these don't bottleneck. Of course, it's going to take, take some time because they did a full harvest, so uh, it's going to be a little while before that gets done, but everything should be piling into the furnaces, or the cook ovens. It will fill this one first, and then probably fill these two first, and then start working to the other ones. So that is going on. Uh, what is the next thing to do? That is still going. I probably should switch those uh, boilers back over. Uh, these ones here get the steel steel furnaces back in there uh, just because I know this is not gonna work but I thought I'd try it anyways oh give me that give me that um, 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 um. what's here nothing okay yeah aluminum boiler is not exactly the cheapest thing to be thrown away okay so now now I have to get all this hooked back up into the ash line, all that stuff. So uh, let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, everything seems to be working. Uh, the machines aren't actually running right now because uh, we got a backlog of wastewater. And the reason why there's backlog on wastewater is because I actually still have uh, fueled furnaces in here, and they are actually full out of fuel. So since I do actually have the aluminum ones on me, or the aluminum electric furnaces, I'm actually going to place those down, and we're going to make use of them. Okay, power can come in that side, that's fine. And... I have one cable left. Uh, let's see, where's the nearest power connection? Uh, over there, so i got to make some more wires, so I'll be right back. Okay, that's the uh, last couple of wires. So that means that these are going to be running now, so that means that... Our wash plants are going to be running, which means that ore is going to get processed and cleaned out and whatnot. Because that was the biggest issue right now. Is like output is busy. It's wastewater, I do believe. Uh, the macerator actually has nothing to macerate, so it's clearly this. So that's going to take some time to go through. Oh, there we go. Now it's running. Okay, I've been keeping an eye on the procure so too. For some reason, it's not going up. I thought it would. Uh, I am all connected to the line. What I did is I uh, just got those ones to go underneath and they got connected right there. So it's all feeding to the line. 
Am I avoiding this stuff? Oh, well, that, that would explain it. Was I avoiding it? See, that goes in. Apparently, I was. But even then, as you can see, it's like barely holding up. Uh, yeah, so that's going in there, and that supplies into here. If it fills these up and all that stuff, so that is going good. Uh, that's going pretty good. Let's go check on the coal dust or the coke dust situation. So it should all be going into the shelves down here, somewhere down here. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll find my way. See, this is why I hide stuff underground, so that way you don't see it. it doesn't get in your way. Okay, let's see. Where do we want? We want that shelf right there. Okay. Oh, look at that. We actually have backlog. Perfect. That's good. Uh, just got to make sure that everything's actually getting fuel and everything's going through. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I see the light of day. Jeez, working on my own bases and adventure some days. And we are finally getting some surplus. I didn't even know I had that thing shut off, to be honest. I know I closed it because these are uh, backlogging with crew, so And, uh, yeah, forget, forget about little things like that. That was good. We got bamboo running. Machines are running. And uh, this is the next thing I got to do is eventually I got to get something in here now. There's something I actually want to try. Uh, can I make a steel robot? No, I can't. Actually, I can. Let's go over here, and what I gotta do is I gotta turn this guy back around because I wanted to get the ingots so I can make stuff. Okay, there we go. So that's gonna go through. It's gonna keep doing the same thing. And I was gonna do something. What was it? Oh, yeah. Make another arm. Alright, let's get rid of that. I don't need that. And we should be getting some of those. Do that. Actually. We'll skip the middleman, we'll make them ourselves. Okay, and I just need one arm, please. No. Oh, I got it just in time. I do not want to make another separator. But, uh, yeah, this is something I actually want to try. I've heard about this, I've never actually tried it myself. Do I have enough to make a chest? I do. I should. Steel chest. All right, well, now this is something, I don't know how many of you know actually know that you can place the arms going any way you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place a block on top of the shelf if I can. Oh, on top of the shelf. And then I'm going to place a chest on top. Like so. And now, oh, wait. Needs to be a filtering robot. It's a good thing I have another lens on me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to uh, move some stuff around. Put that over there. Take that out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the robot. Oh, yeah, oh, fine. Should work. There you go. Okay, I am going to. Just place the robot there for now, because I want to set this to sulfur. Uh, okay, there we go. Didn't want to work. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the robot this way, and then go down. Is that going the right way? It should be. Hold on, hold on. I gotta take. Excuse me. Yeah, it's trying to take a full stack, is what it is. So, what I need to do is I do that. Oh. Hang on a second here. Can't remember how to clear this. Uh, 
That's how we clear it. All right, let's try this again. We do like that, we open her up, and I'm gonna put exactly one in there. So then the arm should take one out when it's got one. Now I'm pretty sure that's facing the right way. And one way to find out. Let's do this. Do I have this facing the wrong way? I do. Cool. Yeah, I knew about that. I completely forgot about forgot about it. And I've actually thought about replacing this little line here with arms going up. Place it on the conveyor because the conveyors you can do the same thing as well. I go ahead and place uh, the conveyor like so. Take a screwdriver and we'll do like that. Oh, really? Okay, it's not going to let me then. Uh, let's try our rotation options. No, uh, apparently it does work. You just can't rotate it while it's up there. Cool. I'll have to try that out. So how is everything doing here? I'm going to say terrible because I'm not using any steam. Apparently, but machines are running. This is going good. Uh, battery should be fine. Oh, plenty of power. Creosote. How is the creosote holding up? Well, we have some in the tank, so that's a good sign. So, yeah, crisis averted. So now we actually have some decent power generation. This should all be running as well. Yes, it is. We're getting tungsten out of here. We're getting sulfur down below. Uh, tungsten, I do believe we're going to need it when, once we actually start getting into uh, tungsten. We use the tungsten oxide dust, which is this. Negative tungsten dust, which gets mixed. Okay, all this. Oh, yeah. Then that uh, make the tungsten, hot tungsten ingot, which eventually becomes tungsten carbide ingot. And yeah, and that's actually one of the few tiers down the road. But anyways, uh, that's going to be after stainless. But I think it's a good place to call it. Uh, finally got the power situation under control by the looks of it. Definitely got creosote rolling in. More co coke dust than I'll ever need. And more bamboo than you can ever imagine. And uh, I think next episode we're going to do some building. Uh, I've been thinking about building a giant greenhouse around here just for the sake of it. That's why I have all that glass down there. And... And even get a bit of a structure going around here because we got some more tiers to add up. I don't know if I'm going to add another floor or just expand this one over top of the, the clay production. But anyways, I think it's a good place to call it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it's, it was a bit of a challenge, but uh, it was a bit of work, actually, to be honest. I think it took me a couple hours to get all this set up. But at least we have a nice rat's nest of conveyors to play around in, especially underneath. Anyways. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.